Celebrating all things cool in Jacksonville. A local show with a spotlight on the 904. With hosts Eden Candle and Mark Payton. Featuring amazing stories from every neighborhood with Rance Adams. This is River City Live. This is River City Live here at the Avenues Mall, and it is Change Your Password Day. I know, right? February 1st is here. Can you believe it? Yeah, you know, by the way, we're not going to ignore the fact that we're looking at some people doing some incredible things. Ow. That is the Universe Soul Circus, and we're going to be addressing that in just a few minutes. I can't even touch my toes. <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, I think in a little bit, we're going to try to do some of those moves. When I say try, I mean, we're going to make an attempt. And when you say we, you mean, but, uh, So they're called the Bone Breakers. And I think they should add like joint breakers in there as well. I don't think they could but... possibly break a bone. They're so bendy. That's How, jello. That just call it jello mold or something. <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, I almost overlooked them to get straight to this, which is like we were saying, National Pass Change Your Password Day. So wanted to put that out there because I have about 25 passwords. If I decided just one day a year to change all of my passwords, I would be sitting at a computer all day long. Oh, my Do goodness. you? Do you change regularly your passwords if you're not prompted to? Some programs make you. I have a, a pro, an app that has all my passwords, and I've got them changed so varied. But, I mean, if I change it that regularly, I'd never remember anything. Well, with a lot of corporate places right now, you get that email where you have to change it like every 90 days. And it tells you about 15 days out to start thinking about that. And I panic because you at do? this point, like I, I run out of passwords. This is so Mark. I wait until the last minute, sometimes miss it. No, you got to do it on a Monday because if you do it on Friday, you yeah, it's gone. You will never pull that password up again. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So brilliant. I started out with like password one, password two, but uh, I've been doing it my whole life, so I have to switch it up a little bit. Password 10,000. There's certain capital here. And do you get the thing where it's like, uh, this is weak, and you're like, I can't figure out, make yeah. it any tougher. I'll never remember. Symbols and this yeah. and that and pet names and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it is worth considering. So, okay, I hate to panic everybody. But it looks like there could possibly be a shortage in bacon. Uh -uh. I know, right? So uh, <laughs> if you love to have, <laughs> if you love, I wish we had a zoom lens. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> if you love your bacon, you could see a price increase because pig farmers are reporting they just can't keep up with the world's sizzling appetite for bacon. I mean, they're probably thinking, we're making the bacon as fast as we can. You're going to keep putting it in these new things like ice cream and whatever. How are we possibly going to keep up with the demand? You know, bacon's been around forever. You would think by now they'd figure out supply and demand with something like that. Well, I think it's just exploded in popularity because, you know, for years it was like only certain sectors of the country, and now it's worldwide. And like Eden said, you put it in drinks, you put it in ice cream, and, I mean, I put it in yeah. salads. So, <laughs> yes, I have my nutrition, but I got my bacon. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It all balances out. If you're a fan of the three buck chuck, you might be able to get it a little bit easier if you live in Mandarin. Yeah, and maybe you can get some bacon there too. Trader Joe's is coming to Mandarin. Yay! All right, so this is the second one that's going to be here in Jacksonville. The first one's over on Jacksonville Beach. This one's going to be over on Clear Lane and San Jose Boulevard. So fans of Trader Joe's especially won't, will be happy that they won't have to trek all the way to the other side of town. Just like dip in, get your goods for cheap, and get out. Mm. I, I would pass it up every day. So if you guys want anything, let me know. All right. Cool. All right. Well, I Thanks pass in the one list. <laughs> I pass one too. Okay. So some people say that the worst coffee is no coffee at all, but there are ways to improve your coffee. So what are some mistakes people make and what are the myths, Mark? Yeah. Okay. So let's break this down because coffee is very, very important to me. Really all of us here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coffee and then bacon is probably a close second, right? So let's, let's go through these. Okay. So number one, you have to use freshly roasted coffee. And this makes a lot of sense, right? Because if you think about it, what are you brewing? Coffee. So you want it freshly roasted. So you want to look at the roasted on date and not necessarily the sell by date. So that's a good tip right there. So it all starts with that bean. All right. The second thing is all about water. That's the other component of coffee, the bean <laughs> sure. and then water. So you want to use a good quality water, something that's filtered and not tap water, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now the in last theory, one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right, come on. Agree no, with me no, on this. No, in theory, this is yeah, sure. And then the last thing, there was that old wives' tale out there that you want to keep it in the refrigerator. 
that's not necessarily true. You do want to keep it in a cool, dry place because moisture actually ages coffee and it'll so make it bad. So you're talking about the bag of grounds. Exactly. Okay, yeah. when I first was seeing that, I thought because my grandmother used to do the, um, the dripper thing, she had the drip thing, yep. and then she would put all the coffee in the fridge for iced coffee for later. Yeah, that's fine because you already made uh, the coffee. Okay, but but you're the actual about beans, because you want to preserve but like, the beans. But don't put it in the fridge. Exactly, but you do want it in a cool okay. place because some people the would keep the beans in there or the grounded coffee. None of this applies to me because mine is already ground. And uh, you guys are on the high end of things. I'm going a little bit on the Trader Joe's low end perspective. <laughs> so I can put mine in the freezer and I'll be good to go. All right. <laughs> well, again, as long as it's coffee, it's good coffee. No coffee is when we have a problem. If you're hiring a personal assistant, what would the qualifications be? Now, before we get to that, I want to read to you what sources are saying was Rob Lowe's advertisement recently looking for a personal assistant. So these are the qualifications. Now, the job pays $70,000 a year. Never assume anything. That's one of the qualifications. Ensure that the client is fed and has coffee throughout the day. Understandable. Schedule haircuts for every episode, assuming that he's on a series. Ensure that the client has a dinner plan if arriving home later than 8 p.m. in the evening. That, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Make sure you let the estate staff know if the client wants a jacuzzi turned on or a massage ordered for his arrival. And then there were some other things on there, too, like anything over 25 pounds you have to lift uh, for him and so forth. That is a pet peeve. When what? I come home, the jacuzzi's not ready to go. Like, I can't stand that. So I understand someone's why that's gonna get, on the list. Someone's going to get fired. Yeah, exactly. Case, right? so, Pets are going to roll. So the Rob Lowe camp said, oh, Mr. Lowe didn't place that. Or, or they said, we can't confirm if you placed that. But what we will say is coffee is very important to him. So we asked you on our Facebook page, do you know what the qualifications would be if you were personally looking for a personal assistant? Our friend Jessica, who always has a funny answer, commented, and she said, excellent hygiene, <laughs> a proper understanding of sarcasm, and then the ability to say, and this is a movie quote, I'm right on top of that, Rose, at a moment's notice. So so what about you? Do you, do you think, Rance, Just you anticipate have? some things. You know, like, if I have a, a schedule or a routine, just be like, okay, he's probably going to want that. And, yeah, that's a lot. Hygiene would be another good one. Yeah. Yeah, I just, for me, just someone who could help clean. Anything else I can handle. <laughs> help pick up my house. So maybe I just need a maid. <laughs> yeah, somebody who, I like what you said, though. Someone who anticipates it. And, of course, I need that massage therapist waiting for me when I get home. <laughs> and if it's after 8, dinner, of course. All right.